This is the DIG two dial hose end timer. DIG makes a digital timer as well, which I really prefer. However, if you want something really basic, this is an option. Alfred Castillo here, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. This timer is going to need a nine volt alkaline battery. Otherwise, it's just an interesting paperweight. With dry hands, pop off the battery cover like so and install the battery. When you install it, you'll put the timer in line before your head assembly. So take a look at these dials. The one on the left sets the duration of the runtime. You can set it anywhere from two minutes to 240 minutes in selected increments. And the dial on the right sets how often you wish to water. Every six hours, all the way up to once a week. The timer is not programmed until you hit the enter key. When you press the enter key, there's a little LED that will light up for 10 seconds to let you know you were successful. It will then begin starting your first watering session. Watering start times are based on when you set your timer. So for example, if you set it at 8 a.m. and you've got it set for third day intervals, it will water at the same time, i.e. 8 a.m. every third day. However, it starts counting days 24 hours from when you set your program. You can set the timer to begin the program 6, 12, 24 hours after you programmed it. Here's how. Press the enter button once. While the LED is lit, turn the dial on the right side to the one of the settings that you want. So if you want to start the program six hours from now, turn the dial to six hours and push enter again. As I said, this has to be while the LED is still lit. This shouldn't undo your current programming, but just change the start time. Want to start the timer right now? Turn the right button to man. That stands for manual. Turn the left dial to how long you want to water and then press enter. That will not mess up your previously programmed schedule. If you want the scheduling to stop, say it's winter and you don't need to water, or if the system is currently watering and you want it to stop, or maybe because it's just raining, just turn the left dial to off. To re-engage the watering schedule, turn the left dial to anything besides off and the schedule will resume as though nothing has happened. Alrighty then, maintenance. Do remove this little screen washer every few months and clean out any debris. Don't leave the timer out in freezing weather. Do remove the battery if you plan on leaving the timer unused for an extended period. And most importantly, do go to sprinklerwarehouse.com for all your irrigation needs. So you too can have lush and beautiful lawns, gardens, trees, and potted plants. And if you have any questions about our products, chat with one of our incredible customer service agents in our web store. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly shop and compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.